Good morning, everybody. Good morning, children. How are you today? We are in Kiryat Gat, our dear friend, Mr. Honline. My name is Shlomit Shulov Barkan. I'm deputy director of Meir Panim. We haven't met yet. Um, it's been a, a, a real delight for us to cooperate with Kiryat Gat and cooperate, of course, uh, with all our donors and true friends in America. Mr. Roth, would you like to say a few words? It is truly an honor for me to be standing before you, Malcolm Online, and your dear family and friends. On behalf of Meipanim, Peretz Hirschenbaum, which is the chairman of Meipanim, Racheli Ebenbaum, which is the um, general director of Meipanim, and the thousands of men and women and children of unprivileged communities throughout Israel who benefit daily from Meipanim services. We now stand before a facility that will manifest into the largest supplier of vital food and social services to Israel's impoverished population in the history of the state. Here will stand 100,000 square feet of love and concern for the needy children in Israel. Here will stand 100,000 square feet of Avat Yisrael, love for the fellow burden in Israel. None of what we have accomplished or hope to accomplish would be possible without the unwavering support of great friends and leaders such as Malcolm online. Malcolm is more than just a, pa a patron and longtime supporter of May Penim. He has been instrumental in the fulfillment of a dream that has now become a reality. To merely say thank you will not even begin to scratch the surface of the tremendous depth of gratitude that is owed to Malcolm for his role in the Israel Nutrition Center. Therefore, we are honored to dedicate the visitor's lobby overlooking the industrial kitchen and the general operation of the facility in memory of his beloved parents, Ephraim and Esther Zichronam Lebracha, the Ephraim and Esther Online Visitor's Hall, as it shall now be named, will overlook the operations in the, at the center. So the memory and good deeds of your dear parents, Malcolm, should serve an inspiration and blessing upon the center. May the salt marry the schut of feeding tens of thousands of hungry children and family daily. Well, obviously this is a very emotional occasion for all of us uh, for many reasons. Uh, as you pay tribute to, to my mother, who was Nifteret to, two months ago, and to my father, Zichrona Levracha, for whom Israel meant everything, uh, who had tried to come here on Hachshara in the 1930s, but Hitler had other plans, but who visited often, and who had such a deep love for Israel and the people of Israel, and cared about it, and it was... What my mother, Allah Shalom, until her last days kept asking me how Israel is, is it safe, is what's happening with Israel. Both were people who cared about children. My father was a teacher in Celerina in Switzerland during the war. And he took children who were being already sent by their parents outside when they could no longer leave and they came because he spoke seven languages and he taught all the Lumude Kodesh and the Lumude Chol in this one-room schoolhouse in Switzerland. And my mother, who educated thousands and thousands of children as a Ganenet, as a kindergarten teacher in Philadelphia. And we only learned after her Ptira how much she influenced so many people who 30 and 40 years later would call her every Erev Chag or Erev Shabbat, even when they lived in Israel or wherever they were and said that she affected their whole lives, that it was the turning point in their lives. And even those who didn't have her as a teacher, including the non-Jewish cleaning lady who came while she was sick, cried and told us how much she impacted uh, her. So I know that this would be so meaningful to them. They were very modest people. Uh, my father was a great anav. And I think they would be embarrassed by it. But I know that they, looking down, hopefully, Shep Samnachas, 
And the fact that they'll be remembered in a place like this, which is so important to me for so many reasons, because I believe the issue of hunger is an unacceptable issue. It should not exist. It cannot exist. And we have to do all we can to stop it. Because it bears the name of another person I love very much, Leon Levy, who was a chairman of the Conference of Presidents. And I'm so glad that his daughter and grandson are here. And because it bears the name of Mort Zuckerman, whom I brought to this project, and who is also very dear to this family. And my grandson, Mayor, who even raised money on Purim for Mayor Panim as he went around, uh, as they collected money on, on Erev Purim. Uh, and for, for all of us, this is a place that we will come to visit. And knowing that it's the biggest kitchen facility in the whole Middle East of its kind, that tens of thousands of children especially will be fed, will be a source of nechama for the nefashos, will be a source of comfort to them and to us. And to know that it will be a living memorial, not a statue and not something that just sits in the ground, but something that is living and helps people every day and that they will come into this place and be able to see their names and know and be remembered and be associated with this incredible un undertaking. I want to thank the mayor and the Rav for being here, to thank all the people from Mayor Panim and especially Dudi Roth, who is helping to make this dream become a reality. We are not done. It's a job we all have to continue to do. I tell people that you know, even if I work for the Jewish community all the time, I still have to do my own chesed and stucco work. So this has become my, my pet project for, uh, for one uh, of my uh, personal undertakings. And I hope that all of you will be able to come back when we open it and be able to see it functioning and see this hall. Think of it now, buzzing with people and thousands of meals coming out of it and so many people being fed that you make the dreams reality when you have the vision. Dudi had the vision. This place is becoming a reality. God, Mietz Hashem, before long. And uh, I want to thank you all for coming, Mati, for coming from Yerushalayim. And uh, we look forward to being back for the Hanukkah Sabayas. I will ask the mayor from Kiyat Gat, Mr. Aviram, please come up. Good morning. My father was also a teacher and my mother a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they always told me what uh, Anavi Shaya told. Hello, prost la raev lachmecha. Ken, aniim merudim tavi bait, ki raita aerom vechisito, umi psarcha al titalam. And uh, we, about uh, two days after Shavuot, which is a great chesed, and uh, we want, on behalf of uh, Kiryat Gat citizens, which is about uh, 54,000 citizens, we want to thank you and uh, you, Malcolm, and your family, and to uh, Jeanette and the uh, Levy family and Zuckerman family that... Uh, push this uh, mission and help Meir Panim to fulfill their mission because we are uh, together with Meir Panim uh, with the restaurant and the youth club and a lot of uh, uh, secret projects <laughs> um, Happy birthday to Brian Well, thank you very much. This is beautiful. Um, Mayor Panim is a really is a truly special organization. Something that's really touched my heart for years. Uh, it's amazing to me that still we have amazing country that we built up for the Jews, and yet we still have so many people living in poverty. And it's really something special. We could see all these Jews coming together to come in and and try to attain such a special goal, making sure that Jews and Jewish kids do not go hungry. It's some, this, this building is amazing. I hope hopefully it will bring thousands and thousands of meals to people every single day. And Bliai and Ara should be operating very soon.
The cards which enable them to get food for Shabbos and you'll be able to go and see how people who don't have seven children, one of whom became blind at age 10. So you see these are families who really need this help and by going there we both show them that we stand with them and that they feel very good, that people care and they were very happy about the visit, that people from New York cared about them and the little girl we told we would be misfollowed for her and now with this family the same thing, that you go and we give them something and it's not undignified for them because they're not coming, we're not coming to degrade them, but to show that we care about them. And it shows that they're not alone, even though they have difficult circumstances. So we're only going to be able to do maybe one more, because we have to go back to Yerushalayim soon. But we want you to see that people, even in this day, why Mayor Panim and what we're doing to help poor people is so important. It's not people who don't want to work, it's not people who are just taking, it's because people really have serious needs. This is what Staka is about, is trying to help and do tzedek, righteousness, the right thing. Thank you. 